Alright, got a Z4 radio. Also, it can be from an X3. The pixels are dying on it. If you see this issue where if you press on it, the pixels will start coming back, then um, I'll show you how to fix that. If I press it on the screen, the pixels start to eliminate. It's almost like a bad, just a little bad contact. So, yeah, pretty much it gets worse when it gets hot. All right, I'll show you what to do. All right, so five minutes later, all that's disassembled over here. Bunch of screws here. All these little screws are part of the small parts. Volume knob, all that stuff is out. Uh, make sure to mark your ribbons too, so you know how far it needs to go in. But yeah, now you got your display, and this is the front. This is where you press, and it would improve. So I'm gonna disassemble this. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Um, to, so that you can increase the pressure and that way the uh, LCD pixels don't uh, don't disappear on you. At least you can restore them again. Alright, so on that bracket that was right here, what I did was I twisted all the tabs on the back <clears throat> and I removed the bracket and I stuck a little strip. This itty bitty little strip. And I, it was a lot bigger. It was, a, it was from a different kit. And uh, this, I pretty much split this piece into four. So a piece like this um, had to be split into uh, four different slices. And this is one of the little strips. And I ran this piece along the inside of the bracket at the top, or actually on the bottom here, because that's where the contacts are. And I closed it and carefully pressed it while I was pressing, twisting the tabs without uh, cracking it. Because if you put too much pressure on one edge, you can actually crack the LCD. So just little by little working it, like how you would tighten a uh, wheel. You don't just go gung-ho on just one side. Um, but after that, I uh, tightened it, and now let me turn the sucker on. Pixels are perfect. So there it is. Everything looks good. And, um, and yeah, that was it. Just having to tighten it up pretty much so that it's um, so that the pixels grab because the strip wasn't uh, tight enough. All right, well, hopefully you enjoy this and uh, you can uh, fix your own radio or if you need us to help you, uh, we can do this for sure. Um, and um, it takes about uh, an hour to do in total um, between pre-testing disassembly, fixing, and reassembling and testing again. Um, and yeah, so uh, if you need help with this, uh, you got our number, 951-522-4032. Uh, and just uh, visit us at bathtech.com. All right, thanks. Goodbye.